there. Next up, we got the Houston Texans. Eight wins is their over-under. Their needs were defensive line, offensive line, and edge rusher help. And, you know, I never know what to think about the Houston Texans. Uh, I didn't understand a bunch of the trades. Uh, They only had five picks in the draft because they traded a bunch of draft picks away. Uh, Let's go ahead and roll through what they they actually did. They had one in the second, one in the third, two in the fourth, and one in the fifth. So, you know, no chance for late flyers, anything like that. They got uh, defensive lineman Ross Blacklock out of TCU. That was a a pretty good value pick. Uh, A lot of people had him a borderline first-rounder as well. Uh, They took him at 40th. They had edge rusher Jonathan Grenard out of Florida. Now, that was a pretty good value pick in the third round. Um, He is is talented enough that he could take over what you lost when when they ended up trading away. uh, uh, Good grit. What's the... Went to... What's the guy's name? Good gracious. The defense, the edge rusher. Uh, Clowney? South Carolina. Clowney. God bless. <laughs> I kept wanting to say Kinlaw, and I knew that wasn't I'm it. trying to figure out where we're going here. <laughs> Sorry. He Sorry. could take over for Clowney. Like, they, they didn't have anybody in Clowney's role last year that, that was able to do anything. Uh, Grenard could absolutely do that. Uh, uh, it'll take a little okay. time. He, right. he he ain't okay. the same athlete. I understand. He ain't the same. I was same just guy. about to say he's gonna he's gonna play the spot because nobody else is there. Right. right? But he, I I think he's he gonna could play be it because it's open. All right. Nobody's yeah. standing on third. So if you go play third, yeah, you just took a Rod's place. But that's not really how this works. The next three I know very little about. Uh, <laughs> I didn't like. I didn't like this draft. I tried really hard to not just beat up Bill O'Brien because it's low hanging fruit. Yeah. It it's it's easy to do. But he just doesn't give you anything to work with sometimes, man. Yeah. No, you look I mean, at these he, trades and you don't understand them. Then you look at the draft picks and you don't understand those. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Uh, my, Michael said they should let J.J. Watt go play for a winner. Uh, it's it's not uh, that the Texans, the Texans have been winning. You won't find a J.J. Watt apologist over here. Yeah, I, we well, don't. I feel sorry for that guy. No, I, I'm, I'm all good Listen, on that. One of the greatest human beings in the world. Hang on. I got I to gotta do this preface. Yes, he does a lot for society. The world is a better place with JJ in it than with me in it. All right. If one of us had to leave to make the world a better place, I should be the one to leave. With that being said, eh, screw that guy. <laughs> he has never made that team great at all. He has sucked up so much cap money and he he has never made a big play at a big moment in the game ever. They've been in a lot of playoff games and that guy hadn't showed up. Now you're you're 100 right about that. When he leaves the game, they don't move the point spread a point, not a half point. Nope, sure don't. Uh, Michael said, "I don't feel sorry for him. I want him in Denver." So- <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. You got better dudes in Denver than you got him. dudes. Trust I me. I promise. Chubb and Vaughn are light years better than him right now. Let's uh, let's finish up the draft for uh, for the Texans here. Round four, they got offensive tackle Charlie Heck out of North Carolina. They got cornerback John Reed out of Penn State. And then in round five, they got wide receiver Isaiah Coulter out of Rhode Island. Uh, ultimate, you know, let's see what we got because obviously the competition is not going to tell you a whole lot about him. Um, I, I did see some good things about uh, Coulter, though. I mean, I, you know, that, that, but I've only seen because I haven't actually gotten to watch him. I mean, I didn't watch a single Rhode Island game last year. Who the hell did? So The, the one pick that really stood out to me that I just didn't like was, was the John Reed pick. I, look, I hadn't followed John Reed's career. I don't know even – I know this. I watched a lot of Penn State football this year just for some of the big games that I got to catch, and they were getting dusted a lot. And I'm yeah. not talking about dusted by NFL guys now. I'm talking about all those receivers at Minnesota were just wide open every time we turned around and and, you know, Michigan had a bad first quarter. And then after that, that offense opened up and kind of scored it. It's just one of those things where it was just, this isn't Ohio State made you look bad. These are two offenses that aren't really great made you look bad. Let me me tell you what Pro Football Focus said about John Reed. Okay. Uh, He was their one. Maybe they disagree with me. They they most certainly do. He was their 100th ranked player, and the Texans got him at the 141st overall pick said Reed had one of the top athletic profiles of any uh, defensive back in the class and was an ideal fit for a zone-heavy team, so it makes this pick an interesting one. That said, Reed played under 100 snaps in man coverage this past season and flashed incredible skills on those limited reps by allowing only six catches on 18 target with six plays made on the ball. 
Okay. So we got some weird stats here. Weird verbiage there. First, player profile is not something I'm ever going to look at. I watch the guys play. All right. Yeah. That's basically measurables. He he fits the place based on his speed, his size, his abilities. Right. Okay. That's that's combine. All right. Right. That right. I've never watched or paid attention to or really cared about. So I could be very wrong on all of those things. The he played a hundred snaps when he played man to man. But he's go. But he's the perfect fit for a zone. Oh, it's just all right. I'm, okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. I, I don't like you said a bunch of things that made it sound like he was great, and there's no question they know him better than I know him. All right. I've just watched him play football, and I didn't watch every game. All right, but I watched the Michigan game. I watched the Ohio State game. I watched, you know, I, I watched the the Minnesota game. Like I watched the big games, and. That he wasn't defensive impressive. backfield didn't look great. I can I can understand it. I can understand it. And that's not elite ta- Ohio State elite talent, but really not at the receiver position. Not this year. No. And the other two, absolutely not. Now you're you're right about that. That's not the best talent in the country throwing the football. That's not Oklahoma football. Uh, no, 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 no. Alabama, None of those offenses LSU, that. Clemson. That, that, that's not those offenses. You get beat by those offenses, you look bad. That's fine. Everybody kind of forgives you. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You are right. Just an opinion. Just an opinion. We'll see. 